Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today's May 11th, 2018, and this is our episode number 298. Today, we're starting our one-year review of Mitchiza. Uh, the last 10 or so chapters, episodes, have been uh, re one-year reviews. First of Ferbaza, which wasn't and uh, has never been in my portfolio. Rather, it was uh, an imaginary top 20 stocks uh, in Brazil. And then we did Tarpon, uh, which is in my portfolio. And we ended just last episode, 297. So today, <clears throat> we're looking at Mechiza, which at, uh, on May 5th, 2017, I, and I did uh, chapters 132 to 138 on it. Uh, I said uh, this is this is in my portfolio. Mechiza makes uh, metal tools for agriculture, for uh, stone cutting. It's a metallurgy company. It's a, a, a small cap with a market cap of just 107 million a year ago. Uh, and this is Hei, so we're talking about 33, 30 million Hei's. But we saw numbers here, and I do have the 2017 numbers. It's already here. So we'll talk about the numbers that are already here. As you know, if you've watched other episodes, what I do is I go to their website. I find the DFPs, uh, which would be the 10 case, the yearly statements. And I find the ITRs, which would be the 10 Qs, the quarterly statements. And I look at the numbers there. So, debt from 16 to 17 has gone down by over 10%. Liabilities, uh, and this was uh, surprising, uh, fell by three quarters. Net equity went up by a little less than 5%. So in terms of fundamental health, things are looking even better than they were uh, after 2016. So the ratios improved. So debt to equity 0 0.31, even more comfortably inside our desired spectrum of 0 to 0 0.5. Uh, <clears throat> liabilities to equity i think there's a mistake here let me actually do it because liabilities can be less than the equity one second okay well it's actually that 26 so i think my mistake was with the loans here Loans twenty six million. Let's see here. Yeah, they were at seventy eight, right? And the loan seventy nine, and the loans now are at uh, twenty six. Let's see. So uh, we're actually looking at a, an even better scenario where the liabilities did m go down. As you can see here, from ninety seven current to forty two. And non-current from eight, well, then it went up to nine. So, 105 to 52. And it's interesting because yeah, here it says 105, and I have it here as 202. Well, anyway, uh, it's never comfortable to look and see inconsistencies there. But uh, it's pretty clear that the debt's very low. Liabilities are incredibly low. Current ratio uh, at 2.45 is uh, above our minimum comfortable number of two. So they're holding two point two and a half and a half for every real they will need to, to spend over the next 12 months. I did add a revenue number. So the revenue is also up, was also up in 2017 by a little over 10 percent uh then earnings earnings uh, were stable in 17 so as you can see it wasn't the best year 
rather far from it. It was actually the worst year uh, in 11 years, but still profitable. And even if you took this, this worst year and compared it with uh, the market cap that we had there, it, it's a PE of over 10, the, P, the market cap that we had uh, a year ago. So it's one of those things, like in the worst year, it's, it's still worth under, under 10 years of profits, you know. So uh, free cash flow also at 13. So we have these multiples here. Um, a P10 of 6. Uh, and a, a price to free cash flow of 8. But we should do one thing here, which is just uh, take a look at today's market cap because this is not completely updated. So market cap right now is at 155. So the multiples are, are that much more attractive still. All right. So with this, we could think of Mechiza as this new company that we have never looked at. And if, if that was the case, would we continue uh, looking at Mechiza? Definitely. All the numbers here point to something interesting. So we'll finish this episode here and we'll come back uh, with another episode at least. And then we'll look at uh, if the ownership has changed, uh, see uh, how the company has uh, changed uh, this last year. Thank you very much. If you've come this far in the video, uh, you're a can serious candidate for, to be a subscriber. So please uh, click on subscribe. Uh, also, I invite you to watch our past episodes. I invite you to watch our future episodes. And as always, if you have questions, suggestions, criticism, and especially if you've spotted mistakes in the analysis, leave a comment and I'll write you back as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.